Hello all. Today we are going to discuss ISO standards under software testing and quality assurance. So what is ISO standard is? We can say uh, this standard is based on the seven quality management principles which help the organizations to ensure that their product or services are aligned with the customer needs or not. ISO 9000 is defined as a set of international standards on quality management and quality assurance developed to help companies effectively document the quality system element needed to maintain an efficient quality system. They are not specific to any one industry and can be applied to organizations of any size. ISO 9000 can help a company satisfy its customers, meet regular, meet regular regulatory requirements and achieve continual improvement. It should be considered to be the first step or the base level of quality system. ISO 9000-2015 and 9001-2015 standards are based on the seven quality management principles. ISO 9000-2000 revision had the five major goals. It meets stakeholder needs, be usable by all sizes of organizations, be usable by all sectors, it can be simple and clearly understood and connect the quality management system to the business process. So if you observe over here, this is what the graphical representation of the ISO 9000 quality management principle. So there are total 7 principles of quality management under the ISO 9000 such as customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence-based decision making and relationship management. So we will discuss this one by one. Customer focus which understand the needs of existing and future customers. It aligns the organizational objective with the customer needs and expectation. It meets customer requirements measures the customer satisfaction, manage the customer relationships, it aims to exceed the customer expectations and learn more about the customer experience and its satisfaction as well. The second one is the leadership. It establishes a vision and the direction for the organization. It sets challenging goals, model organizational value, it establishes trust, Equip and empower the employees, recognize employee contributions and learn more about the leadership. The third principle is the engagement of people which ensures that the people's abilities are used and valued, make the people accountable, enable the participation in continual improvement, it evaluates the individual performance it enables the learning and knowledge sharing. It enables the open discussion of the problems and constraints. Also, it learns more about the employee involvement. The fourth one is the process approach, which manages the activities as per the processes. It measures the capability of activities. Also, it identifies the linkages between the different activities. It prioritizes the improvement of opportunities, deploys the resources effectively and learn more about the process view of work and see process analysis tools also. Improvement, the fifth one principle which improves the organizational performance and capabilities, it aligns the improvement activities, empower the people to make the improvements better, it measures the improvement consistently, celebrates the improvements also and learn more about the approaches to continual improvement. Sixth one is the evidence-based decision making 
which ensures the accessibility to accurate and reliable data. It uses the appropriate methods to analyze the data. It makes decisions based on analysis. It balances data analysis with the practical experience. And also see the tools for the decision making. And the last one, the relationship management. It identifies and selects the suppliers to manage the cost. It optimizes the resources and creates the value. It establishes the relationship considering both the short and long terms. It shares expertise, resources, information and plans with the partners. It collaborates and improvement and development activities. It also recognizes the supplier successes and learn more about the supplier quality and see the resources related to the managing supply chain also. So these are the seven ISO 9000 quality management principles. So there are the different ISO standards uh, also defined here. So first one is the ISO 9001 which applies to the organizations which are engaged in the designing, development, production and servicing of the goods. So these standards are applied the most software development organizations are comes under this ISO 9001 standards. Whereas the ISO 9002, it applies those organizations which do not design the products but are only involved in the production. Such as the categories like industries which contains the steel or car manufacturing that buy the product and plants designed from the external sources and are engaged in only manufacturing of those projects. It does not apply the software development organization. And the last one is the ISO 9003 standard which applies organizations that are involved in the installation and testing of the products. For example, such as the gas company. So these are the different ISO standards are categorized. Thank you.